I mean, there's a gray Maxima with a plate 55K X80 that they're going to tow in a minute, so they've told me to tell them that. Um, all right, <clears throat> folks, uh, when I, uh, when I, uh, here we go, here we go. Um, all right, so when I, when I say something crazy that just blows your mind, it's like some next level shit that makes you rethink all comedy, I'm going to go like this. And you're going to go, oh, no, he didn't. Like that, okay? Now, when I say something that is definitely going to piss off the liberal Jewish lesbian mafia media, I'm going to go like this. And you're going to go, um, you're going to go, anti-Semite. Okay, so let's try it. Anti-Semite. That was, oh, no, he didn't. So let's move on here. That's okay. I'm not going to, probably not going to do that anyway. Any single moms in the audience here tonight? Raise your hands. Single mommies, single moms, any single moms? Round of applause for the single mothers out there, folks. Round of applause, come on. Bring it together for the single moms. <clears throat> nothing I, I kike beater. Oh, that's a typo. That's a, I, nothing I like better than a piece of shit trash single mother. Am I right? Because you can be rough with them sexually. And they usually have cars so they can give you rides. They're more giving. They're used to dealing with man children. Uh, <clears throat> they're just better all around for dating. I love single moms. But ladies, what's the deal? You couldn't hold him down. What's wrong with you? Why'd you do that? Is it the scratch tickets? Is it the alcohol? Why'd you, how could, because I know it's not his fault. It never really, path, when you get down to it, anyway, at least you have Jaden Harley Ashton to back you up. Your little man, am I right? He's in your corner, your rock, you know? Um, oh, I can't go out tonight because I got to take Jaden to school, my little man to school tomorrow, you know? I got, I, I can't buy that. I got to buy my little man's shoes. See, it's, it's helpful. It helps you organize your life and get uh, get on track. You know, your priorities straight. Maybe try some boxed wine. Don't do that. Don't do that as much. I shouldn't rag on moms, though. I shouldn't rag on uh, parents. Because cause you know what? When you have kids, it's just it's just like, wow. You know, when you have kids, they kind of, it's just, they, they become everything for you. When they're born and you see them, they become your best friends. They really do. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, you protect them, cherish them, nourish them. Um, but the thing is, though, we're, we're this close to societal collapse and to some sort of Mad Max, um, every man for himself type phase. And the thing is, I want you to think about your little man. Think about your kids. Those of you in the audience have kids, not just single moms. Think about your kids. You know what they would be worth to me in a Mad Max end of the world doomsday scenario? You know what they would be worth to me? They would be, they would be worth this. <laughs> shoulder for sand raiders. I got my buggy idling over there. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> and then I get back in my buggy. And the thing is, folks, think about it. I really would sell your kid's asshole and pussy to a, a, a nomadic tribe of, of traders in exchange for a gallon of gasoline. That's the thing. I want you to think about that next time you're um, shopping for the perfect stroller or you have, uh, you know, you're going on eHow, eHarmony, uh, eHow and Livestrong.com getting the articles about uh, you playing Mozart for your kids in the womb. And the thing about that is that um, I would sell your, your, a, a pack of stinky, smelly, brown-skinned scavengers would be using your kids' orifices like fleshlights because I sold it to them for a power bar, okay? Because that's when shit's gonna get real out there. So just keep that in mind. And, um, you know, dating's weird for me, as you can imagine. I just got a new girl, um, and I'm coming to find what it's... I got a, a glimpse of a hot college-age girl. You know the type, the pink, pink sweatpants and the uh, Hello Kitty phone accessories. And I'm looking at her college dorm room, and there's just, a, you know, dirty laundry everywhere, smelly presents all around, with Febreze and scented candles and these types of things, hidden Easter eggs. And I realized that if girls' hygiene were a character in a movie... It would be named Booger, and it would be played by a mix of Sharon Stone from Casino and Andrew W.K. Um, wow. And I think the problem's the culture, okay? How about the movie Magic Mike, okay? Women going gaga for Channing Tatum. Women in the audience, no offense, but um, you want Channing Tatum, okay? You could never have Channing Tatum, okay, sweetheart? You could never have him. Maybe if you're lucky, he'd take a shit on you, okay? But you're not going to get him, you fucking fat pigs. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. But I, I, movies that I do like, if you want to see a good movie, what I think they should do is they should do 
Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, and John Cena fighting hordes of women, right? And they and they can barely fight back because of their weak muscles, and they're just going around the landscape, just snapping necks, snapping women's necks, <laughs> left and right, just snapping, snapping girls' thin, weak necks. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, how about that? And the movie would be called Decadent Sluts. I, no, actually, it would be called um, uh, Baboon in Heat. That's the name of the movie. And it would be referring to the queen of the women, who is the baboon in heat, who they have to kill to restore normal societal order. Um, guys, I'm all done here. Sorry about this, okay? I know you, you sent me that anonymous email, passive-aggressive email, telling me not to, not to come back here. I get it, okay? I'm going over my time. I'm 30 seconds over. Sorry. Crucify me. Yeah, fuck me in the ass. Kick my ass. Yeah, kick my ass. Yeah, right, you fucking pussies. Um, number six, um, I'm almost, I've got to say my dedication here. Um, you guys think I'm bad. The worst thing that I...